Hello, this is Glynis Patterson, Director of Software Development at ID8. In this video, we'll take a look at one of the more tedious and labor-intensive BIM tasks confronting architects and engineers, the act of renumbering or renaming elements. One common example of this problem is customer naming requirements. We've had customers who require that all the system families, for example, are prefixed with their company name. Likewise, even simple design changes can set off a chain reaction that requires significant renumbering of details, views, or equipment. Naming and numbering tasks can also be driven by an owner requirement for external database compatibility. The COBE specification, which is now mandated for federal government projects in the U.S., is a prime example of this. The good news is that ID8 BIMLink can make these kinds of tasks painless. By putting the editing into Excel, we open up a host of simple-to-implement strategies for tackling a variety of naming and numbering problems. We'll use the specific example of some naming requirements set forth by the COBE spec to see how BIMLINK can turn this onerous day-long task into a five-minute process. For those of you not familiar with COBE, it's an acronym that stands for Construction Operations Building Information Exchange. The COBE guide makes it clear that during design, the architect shall be responsible to resolve all conflicts in duplicative naming by their own staff and all consulting engineers. It goes on to spell out some requirements about the unique naming for model elements that are being managed for the COBE deliverable. These requirements include the design drawing must match the COBE document names, only basic names, numbers, and dashes are allowed, no spaces in the names, the name must be unique, and lastly that these rules apply to the components, types, and spaces or room objects within our Revit project. In this sample project, we can see there are many duplicate type names, which may present an issue. The family type name, on the other hand, is a unique name, but unfortunately has spaces. So in order to create a logical type name for the COBE requirement, we'll need to make a new parameter called COBE type name. This will allow us to build a logical name within Excel where we can easily edit the existing family type value. In BIMLINK, we can use the COBE Types link as our starting point. This link, which ships with the 2013.2 version of our product, contains the family type parameter, and it's easy for us to add our newly created parameter to the list for export. It's good practice to edit the name and the description of your link definitions, so we'll take a moment to do that. Next, we'll review the list of categories that we want to include during export. We'll unselect ceiling and floor objects as they are typically not required as an asset that is managed through COBE. We'll also review the Filters tab before we exit to see if there's any additional need to filter the data. Currently, we're excluding the model text, which is part of the generic model category. That's worth keeping, so we're ready to export to Excel. If we actually had to rename these 60 types, it might take us a good hour to do so in this simple example, because Revit would require you to edit each family. For this kind of renaming task, we'll use a function within Excel called substitute. In our new COBE type name field, we'll make the cell value equal to the family type value in column B, but substitute all the spaces within empty values as a way of removing the spaces. Dragging and dropping lets us complete the task with minimal effort. We could then copy paste special the results into the proper column. Our Excel template has some conditional formatting that helps us ensure there are no duplicates by flagging any duplicate cell value in red. Now we can save our Excel file and import the values back into Revit. Simply browse to the Excel file, then select the worksheet to import. BIMLINK will review all of the data before it's pushed into Revit. After completing our review within the preview panel, we'll close ID8 BIMLINK and see how quickly our new value for the COBE type name parameter is populated within our schedule. We've just successfully updated all 60 values within this basic project within a few minutes. The data we've populated is accurate and meets all of the COBE naming requirements for types. A typical COBE project will require at least four iterations of this, one for design development, another at 100% construction documentation, another at beneficial occupancy, and lastly within the as-built documents. That's a lot of data entry. So whether your renaming, renumbering tasks are driven by COBE or any other reason, let BIMLINK plus Excel do the heavy lifting and put your architects and engineers onto higher order tasks. 
ID8 is an Autodesk authorized developer with 25 years of experience in software development with a specific focus on building information modeling. For complete information about ID8 BIMLink, please visit our website at www.id8bimlink.com.